In this video, I will create a design for the Manchester City vs Real Madrid match. Additionally, I will show you how to use AI to generate outfits that match your pose. After doing some research to find ideas, I came across this painting from the loading screen of the A Game of Thrones mod for the game Crusader Kings and I really like it. So I decided to create a Manchester City vs Real Madrid version of it. First, I start by recreating the poses of the characters in the reference image. As you know, I will use the magic poser app for this. By looking at the reference image, I try to create the same pose. This part depends entirely on your effort. If you spend some time on it, you can get the exact pose you want. If you'd like me to make a more detailed video about the magic poser app, don't forget to mention in the comments. After some adjustments, I get the poses I want. Now it's time to create the surroundings. For the trees on the left side, I found an image like this. To cut it out, I will use this method. First, I go to the channels panel, select the blue channel, right click and duplicate it. Then I click on the newly created channel and press Ctrl L. Here I adjust the levels to separate the trees from the sky. Next, I select and copy the entire adjusted image. You can now hide this layer. Returning to the layers panel, I create a mask, hold Alt and click on the mask to open it. Then I paste the copied image by pressing Shift Ctrl V. Then I press invert and click on my image again. As you can see, we have separated the sky from the trees. There is a small part left in the sky, so I go back into the mask and fix it. This part took a bit longer, but finally I managed to cut out the trees the way I wanted. Now I place them in position. Since I want to create a foggy, cloudy and blue tone scene, I set a cold tone background. The trees also need to appear a bit darker, so I reduce their brightness. For the ground, I found an image that fits well here. I want to place Etihad Stadium in the background, but since our dam is medieval, the stadium also needs to match that era. For this, I use AI, and the result turns out great. I place it behind the trees. I would like to briefly mention this. There is no need to fear AI because this is the future and we must adapt. As designers, AI is a tool for us and we can use it best. Trust me, in certain aspect, it will make our work much easier and save us time. When you know where and when to use it, AI will serve you. By the way, while I was talking, I also finished the sky. I add fog between the trees. Since the stadium is in the distance, I lower its contrast and adjust its colors. I also place the ground. The middle section will be like a lake, so I erase the center. Again, I adjust the brightness and color of the ground. To make the characters stand out more, I add fog behind them. Now it's time for the key part, creating the reflection. First I group the layers containing the trees, stadium and sky. Then I duplicate this group and merge it by pressing Ctrl E. After that, I flip the image upside down and place it below. To position it better, I use the warp tool. After placing it, I go to filter, blur, motion blur. The settings look good like this, so I press ok. That adds some shadows here and there. It looks great right now, but we still haven't done the most important part. I create a new document, 600 by 900 pixel, vertical with a resolution of 300, and a black background. Then I click create. Next, I go to filter, noise, add noise. Set it to maximum and press ok. Then I go to filter, blur, gaussian blur and slightly increase it. Not too much, this looks good. Now I go to channels panel, select the red channel and go to filter, styles, emboss. I set the values to minus 180, 1 and 500. Then I select the green channel and do the same thing but this time 90 degrees. After pressing OK, this is how it looks. Now I press Ctrl T, right click and select perspective. I stretch it from the corners to expand it. After adjusting, it looks like this. I save this as a PSD file. Returning to my design, I select the reflection layer, which is already a smart object, and go to filter, distort, displace. You can play around with the settings. I will set it to 10 and 50. By the way, I forgot to mention, if you select stretch to fit, you will get a better result. After clicking OK, I select the PSD file I saved earlier. As you can see, this is the result. 
The waves look too frequent so I adjust the settings until I get the desired look. After a few tries I achieved this and it looks great. Now we need to dress the characters and I will show you how we can use AI to assist in this process. I will use Adobe Firefly for this, not a sponsor. I pass my prompt and click generate. It first creates for different images but I will add a reference. Under the composition section I select an image of the pose I created. I set the strange to maximum. My prompt describes the pose from the reference and then specifies what elements I want to add. This part is entirely up to you. Now I click generate. The first attempt looks like a painting so I select photo on the left and regenerate. As you can see it turned out well. This way I got armor images from a specific angle. Now I can use them for dressing. First I place Holland's head. I also change the body color otherwise he will look like an avatar. I first add the Manchester City jersey by cutting out positioning the necessary parts from different images. Then I add the armor pieces. If you have watched my previous videos you already know how this part goes. I place the elements one by one. For example, I will use the lower parts of this AI generated image because it perfectly fits the pose created. Don't forget to protect the important detail. By the way, if you want to see this part in more detail, I uploaded a speed up version to my Patreon along with the PSD file. Now let's move on to Mbappe. I don't need to explain much here since I'm doing the same things again. I cut out the necessary parts from the AI generated images and place them accordingly. Since we created them with the same reference, positioning them is easy. This is great trick. It saves time and allows you to get the exact images you need. The armor pieces are too shiny so I adjust the highlights painting over the overlay reflective areas with mid-tones. I also add sleeve elements to reveal parts of the jersey underneath. After spending a long time adding shadow and lighting, this part is done. Now it's time to place the characters into scene. Since their legs will be in water, I erase those parts. The environment is dark and foggy so I lower the brightness and contrast of the players. I forgot to add shields so I quickly place them and adjust their color, shadows and brightness. For Mbappe, I add shadows on the side of his face as it appears too bright. For the reflection, I duplicate and flip each character, aligning them with the water surface. I apply the same displace map effect as before to blend them into the water. Small details are always powerful. I'm adding a bit more shadow to the front of the players because these areas don't receive much light. Yes, I know there is lighting in the background and I didn't show that part. That's because I accidentally stopped recording while doing it. But I will extend the shadow part for you. As you can see, I open a curves adjustment and lower the brightness and paint the front of the player with a normal brush. To make the transition smoother, I use the blur tool. Finally, I'm adding the Manchester City logo to this flag which is probably the most insignificant part of the design because otherwise it's not obvious that this is Manchester City's stadium. After handling the remaining small details and applying the camera raw adjustments, the design is finally complete. This is how the final design turned out. I also made a version with text. Yes, I know the Real Madrid logo is wrong. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have watched this far, don't forget to leave a comment and like this video. Your support is very important to me. In every video, I try to provide value and teach you different techniques. I hope you find them useful. See you in the next video.